Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now I don't know much about storage, but I do know that an SSD is better than a traditional hard drive. This storage solution represents the only constant in my ever-changing gaming PC, and since buying it two and a half years ago because it was the cheapest one terabyte SSD on Amazon, I can't say I have any complaints. Now you don't need an SSD by any means, but everything you do from booting up your PC to opening programs and loading games will be quicker. Some open world titles will also benefit from being able to access and stream in textures quicker as you play. When sorting through some old PC parts earlier I came across this old Western Digital Scorpio 5400 RPM laptop hard drive and I couldn't help but wonder just how this 13 year old HDD would impact a few of the most demanding titles in my collection. As you can see it's not quite as snappy as my low cost SSD, that's putting it lightly, but it's to be expected, nothing out of the ordinary. The first game, I moved to my dust covered yet according to multiple diagnosis programs healthy hard drive was Cyberpunk 2077. Now I didn't record the loading times from the HDD tests because, well, you'll soon find out. My latest save game took just over 8.5 seconds to load on my solid state drive and just over 49 seconds to load on the WDHDD. It's tolerable though, not unbearable by any means. In game the performance was pretty much identical, there were no differences with frame rates between the two benchmark runs, which again is to be expected but during actual gameplay I did experience one or two sharp dips, albeit brief drops, to the high 20s. This didn't happen often, enough to register within the benchmark test, but it's worth mentioning. Also worth mentioning is the extra load screen that popped up when pausing the game, though of course I couldn't replicate this situation for recording purposes. It happened the first time I paused the game during gameplay. There was a small box that popped up just before I could select any of the menu text. Cyberpunk also has an HDD mode which quote boosts data loading and crowd activity at the expense of crowd variety extra loading screens and less street detail level while driving fast. And it's not kidding, almost every vehicle turned into this yellow and white van. I've never seen this van before yet suddenly there are dozens of them everywhere. It's like it's the least intensive vehicle or the least intensive asset to load or something. Why vans? This HDD mode again didn't improve frame rate figures nor did it completely remove the odd random frame dip that occurred every so often when driving into a new area. Again on paper the benchmark test won't reveal any differences but gameplay may differ in terms of the percentile figures due to these occurrences. Forza Horizon 5 loaded in 21 seconds from the main menu to the game splash screen where you can select your car etc. The HDD took, and this is quite something, 234 seconds. What's that? 3 minutes and 54 seconds. Yeah, slight difference but in game I didn't notice any performance issues. I'm using the same i3-12300, the same RTX 3050 and 16 gigs of RAM of course and the FPS figures were very much the same. One thing I did notice though was that one of the checkpoints here popped up very last minute or last second and because of this I missed it but after restarting the race this didn't happen again. I'm not sure if it's because I'm just looking out for it but it did seem as though there were more things popping in at a closer distance too like plants and grass. I don't think it was the case of me seeing it because I expected to sort of thing, especially after experiencing that checkpoint pop in. So yeah, performance is still good, just the same as you could expect on an SSD here, but again, load times and pop in are probably to be expected. Still, this doesn't affect the overall playability of the game and there were no completely missing texture issues like I get when using a low-end or old processor, so that's a bonus. The effects an HDD will have instead of an SSD will vary on a game-by-game -game basis, and I've only covered a few, so bear that in mind as well. Far Cry 6 now. Continuing where we left off will take about 9.5 seconds on our SSD. Oh, and uh, this happened on the hard drive quite a few times. The game was just like, nah, I'm not even going to bother. After a second attempt, it did load after 27 seconds, so not too bad really. I should reiterate though that the game only loaded on second attempts every time, but once we were in, 
things ran fine. The benchmark tests came back very similar, as per usual, and during actual gameplay there was one minor hiccup when I was just about to mount my horse that wasn't present with the solid state drive, but aside from that, I didn't notice any other issues. I finished today's tests off with a multiplayer battle royale game of Warzone. Again, the benchmark tests were similar. I had to perform my own benchmark for this one, and I did notice a little bit of popping. Textures took a little longer to sharpen up like this rock here, and the grass sort of just appeared when it felt like it. But overall, I think it's fair to say that different games will react to different storage solutions, well, differently. They'll all take longer, sometimes ridiculously long to load on an HDD, and you might experience more noticeable popping or assets taking longer to appear than you would otherwise, but if you've never had an SSD, you won't know any different. And considering second-hand drives like the 320 gig Western Digital go for less than five pounds here in the UK, it's a very cheap way of adding extra storage that is still capable of running your games once you finally get past the loading screen. I'd still very much recommend an SSD though, as everything is just quicker and more pleasant, but I think that goes without saying. This was just for a bit of fun, if nothing else. Thank you for watching then. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like down below. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.